Hello Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be reviewing one question I found in the Ross answer form, which is this one, related to create a new topic. So we are going to build an example and show how to do this uh, very easily. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find the link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's start with the video and answering the question. So, yeah, basically this user says... I am reading some distances and I want to use them to make a controller, so I read that the best way is to create a new topic, publish there the distances, and subscribe to a topic with another note. I'm using Python. And he says, how can I create a new topic? And the topic will receive seven position orientation from a marker, the post position X, post position Y, etc. So basically this is a post message. So what we need to do is to create a publisher that publishes a post message into a topic. So let's create an example and show how to do this. So uh, let's create a new uh, new project. I'm going to call it new topic. There we are. And let's start our project. Let's open it. There we go. And let's wait a few seconds until the whole environment loads. There we are. Excellent. So now let's open a new shell and a new IDE. As always. And the first thing is that we are going to create a new package. So can create package um, my new topic and we are going to use Python so we add the Rospy dependency great so now let's create our file new topic.py our Python script and here we are going to place the code so let's go First of all, we import the Python environment, we import Rospy, and we are going to import as well. From geometry messages package, we are going to import the post message. So now let's create our node, our Ros node, which we are going to call uh, new topic, for instance. Now, my subscriber subscriber Oops. and I'm going to call it uh, the name of the here we need to put the name of the of our new topic so let's call it my new topic the message that this topic would use and the Q size of I don't know let's say 10 Okay, so now we need to create an instance of our message. So let's call it post message. There we are. And yeah, let's fill our message. So first of all, let's let's launch a simulation. Let's say, for instance, the BB-8 simulation. But actually, no, it's, it's not necessary, so let's, let me close it. What I'm going to do is to have a look here at the post message. Okay, so here we can see the structure of the message. So basically, it has uh, two fields, the position field and the orientation field. And the position field has x, y, z variables. And the orientation field has x, y, z and w variables. So basically, these are the ones that we are going to, to need to fill. So in order to access this first one, what we need to do is to do 
from our post message instance to a position because we are entering this field and then we enter the variable. So, oops, sorry, position dot x equals zero for instance, and the same for y and z, and then we do the same for the orientations. Orientation dot x equals zero. And the same for y, z, and w. Okay, so yeah, we have created our publisher, our message. So now we are going to publish it. Let's create a rate. It's going to be a Rospy rate. And let's see that while not Rospy is shut down. So while I don't close the program, this is going to keep publishing. Our post message, and then we do an sleep. And for instance, I don't know, we can uh, we can increment our position x in one each time this loop is performed. Yeah. So yeah, I think this will be all. So basically, as you can see. We are creating here our new topic, which is going to be called my new topic. And it's going to use post messages. Then we have defined here our a variable for our post message. We fill our post message post message with some values, in this case with zero. And then we create a loop where we are going to keep publishing this uh, message into the my new topic and each time I'm going to increment the position x value in one. So yeah, let's test this. Then let's run our, our code. So run my new topic and new topic.py and ah okay yeah I have yeah my bad this is not subscriber, of course, it's publisher, because we don't want to subscribe to a topic. We want to create a new topic and publish into it. So let me change as well this. My pub, my pub. Okay, so now, yes, now it is, it is a publisher. So let's uh, run again our code. Let's open a new shell to check if everything is working as expected. So now we should have a new topic which is this my new topic, here we have it. And if we subscribe to it, we can see here our messages with the position and orientation. And as you can see, the position X is incrementing each time uh, one. But yeah, well, basically uh, this is the example. Of course, you can fill this message as you want. You can subscribe to another topic and fill this message. Whatever, I have done it like this just to show one example. But yeah, as you can see, it's very simple. So in order to create a new topic, you just need to use the publisher method from Rospy and specify the name of the topic you want to create and the message that this topic will use and as well like size. So yeah, I hope this video has helped you. I hope you have liked it, if so, Please uh, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell because we create a new video every day. And either you like the video or not, please share your thoughts and questions in your comments section. So goodbye and see you in the next video.